Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Monokaima 2, Fall of Alchemy. In all honesty, I meant to start this on Monday, but kind of got sidetracked. And yeah, we're going to start with the female character story here. Because she's a country bumpkin, and I find it amusing. <laughs> and I usually start with the female character when possible, too, so there is that. Revis Academy, the greatest alchemy institute, which lies atop a floating land in the sky. It is known for producing many of the greatest alchemists in the world. However, in recent years, the academy hasn't lived up to its reputation due to a decline in quality teachers. To make matters worse, there has been a steady decrease in the power of mana throughout the world. The academy, which was held up in the sky by the power of mana, fell to the ground. People lost interest in the failing system, so the number of applicants decreased drastically. The academy's investors started to back out, one by one. Thus, the Academy was facing a major financial crisis. Sounds like it. Pretty much every crisis is known to man there, right? Now, really. He's the headmaster? No, this is bad. Why did this have to happen on my watch? Because you're a terrible headmaster, and you weren't a good teacher either. If this persists, the Academy will go bankrupt. Sounds like you're in quite a predicament. Who, who's there? Oh, pardon me. Did I scare you? I heard your troubled mumbling out in the hall. Oh, was I really talking that loud? Yeah, yeah you were. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marta Chivesti. Chivesti? That's the name of our Academy's biggest sponsor. Oh no, are you here to cancel your sponsorship? Absolutely not, uh, though I am a bit dissatisfied with the current state of the Academy. Uh, so why are you here today? I thought I'd voice my concerns before it's too late to restructure this place. Restructure? Do you really think that's possible? Oh yes, I brought some proposals with me today. And that's how Principal Zeppel came to offer Marta the position of Chairwoman of the Board. Following her lead, the whole school system was renovated. The three-year school curriculum was compacted into one year. They expanded their teachings to other subjects, such as government and law. Up until then, the academy rejected those with no talent in alchemy. Now, everyone who applied was admitted. And with this change, all of the Academy's expenses were now paid for entirely by the students' tuition. This major change by the school board spurred a negative reaction in some people. On the other hand, the number of applicants increased every year. And after a few years, the Academy was finally turning a profit. But not the alchemy classes, right? Those were still epically failing, I bet.
finally earning money. It took longer than I expected, but we've reached success at last. It's more than just a success. The Academy was on the verge of bankruptcy. And it's all thanks to you, Madam Chairwoman. Anyway, it's about time to take the next step. Oh, you have more changes in mind? Do whatever you think is best. Whatever you have planned, I'm sure it'll work. Well then, let's discontinue the alchemy classes. I see. Discontinue the alchemy classes. I never thought of that. Wait, huh? But that's the very heart of the academy. But I'm not surprised. Why are you so shocked? The alchemy classes require the highest budget. Plus, it's impossible to train high-level alchemists now that manas are so scarce. In fact, there's been a sharp decline in the number of alchemy students. Well, that might be true, but... All Rivas Academy has produced many famous alchemists in the past. That doesn't interest me. It's a matter of whether or not it's good for business. To be blunt, all that matters is if it will increase our profits. It's too late to cancel them this year, since we already have applicants. But we will enforce this plan starting next year. Discontinue alchemy? What should I do? Well, you should push on the teachers to turn out a crop of the greatest alchemists to ever live. That way you can restore the importance of the alchemy classes. After all, if you have a bunch of famous alchemists running around, you're obviously going to need to keep those courses around. I just don't know how you're going to do it. You're going to need some real talent there. The previous principals would be very disappointed if this really happens. But I can't disobey the chairwoman. Oh, I'm really in trouble now. Just when I thought all my problems were solved. Ugh. Oh, I know. There's one person I know I can always rely on. It's vain, isn't it? Or it better be. I see. So that's why you're here sucking up to me. It's Flea? Of all the people you go to, you go to Flea? Who goes to Flea for anything? I know he's the great defender of justice, but he's a complete screwball. <sighs> yes, I'm begging you. I have no one else to turn to. So you just want me to shut that woman up, right? All right, deal. R really? Sure, I can't ignore a crisis at my alma mater. However, there are some conditions that need to be met. Eh. I'm digging the new hairstyle, though. Have to admit. It just screams samurai. What is up with this brutal heat? It wasn't a good idea to walk around during the day. I guess I have to give up and go back. But... Hello, old man. What are you doing? Huh? I get it. You're sunbathing, aren't you? Yeah, she's a bit of an idiot. No, I'm... Um, little lady, if you will kindly take me to the nearest shade. Huh? But you can't sunbathe in the shade! I'm not... Look, I'm serious. I don't have much time left. Hmm, okay. Whoa, you're really light! I feel better now. Thank you, little lady. Oh man, you're so dark! I can't tell where you are in the shade. Well, it's my job. But I'm risking my life by doing this. She saved my life, so... 
feel like just this once. Huh? Nothing. Say, little lady, are you interested in mana? Mana? Oh, I know. I could be a magician if I had a mana. A magician? No, it's not that great. Do you have a mana? Can I have it? Ah, uh, hmm. I'm starting to get worried. But oh well. <laughs> like, I don't know if she can handle this, but... I owe her my life, so I'll give it to her anyway. There's a mana inside. Make sure you raise it well. Oh, okay. Thanks, old man. Hmm. Where did he go? I'm guessing he was a mana of darkness or something. At least that's my best educated guess without any more details. Well, they stand out. I'm guessing they'll be our rivals. Most likely. Well, let's see. Ah, we're seeing the school alma mater, I guess. Can't say I really care for that. Hmm. Looks like we've had some changes to the areas, maybe. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, the academy did collapse to the ground. Eh, that looks like it'd be fun. I don't know if I'd want to ride a pony, though. I'm worried about getting stuck in its jelly body. Huh. They're different too. Are they gonna be my allies? Or are they more potential rivals? Huh. Oh. It's a fairy. Which may or may not be a mana in this game, I'm not sure. They always bounce a bit back and forth with those. Oh well, they can't be as cool as Poe, the gun mana. <laughs> hmm, an acorn. Where's was that guy? They're laying the groundwork for some great mysteries, but i sort of like to t get some actual control of the game at this point, you know? Rather than watching some cutscenes. <sighs> I suppose if I was just quickly speeding through this, I'd already be in control, but I don't want to miss out on the story. I'd like to know what I'm doing. <laughs> can't. Just leave me here. I, I don't want you to be late because of me. You're gonna run away, aren't you? No, I'm not. Damn, she got me. Stop complaining! Now walk! I don't want to learn alchemy. <laughs> Forced her along, huh? Guess I'll need encouragement. Make sure they don't see us. Hey, Flake! Come down here and fight me! He's a teacher here too? Oh come on, why is the peon of evil here? Whoa! Ah. Mr. Tony, 
The students are watching, so just hold it back, okay? Shut up! This ain't a show! Whoa. I wonder if he's the alchemy teacher. He doesn't look like the alchemy type. He looks dumb. <laughs> I guess she's not entirely wrong. He is the peon of evil, after all. He's coming right for me. <laughs> this place looks like fun. I want to go home. Huh. I guess that's one way to introduce us to alchemy through battle. And that way, we don't have to listen to any boring speeches. That's because you were late. <sighs> your good luck will disappear with your size, you know. I didn't want to come here, but you forced me. Oh, come on, aren't we friends? Once the mana comes out from this stone, I'll become a top class alchemist. Then I'll buy you lunch or something. That thing's gotta be fake, dummy. You're hopelessly stupid. Stop calling me stupid! Oh, uh, hey! Wait! She says it's important, but she treats it like crap. Got a point there. She is so weird, I'll never understand her. Oops, I better hurry. Eventually. Don't you have something else to say? I tripped because of that thing. Something else? Oh, you're right! I can't believe you stepped on my stone! You almost broke it! Wow. Why are you yelling at me? You're supposed to apologize. Why should I apologize? You made yourself trip. You rolled that rock in my way. They're acting like children. Ugh, can't you just let it go? Why are you caught up in ancient history? You should run away while they're distracted. I mean, come on. Now's your best chance. This is not ancient history. Yeah, it just happened like 10 seconds ago. Okay, more like 30 seconds ago, probably with the counter I've been adding, but still. Hey, what are you guys fighting about? Oh, that's the teacher from orientation. You guys look pretty excited already. What are your names? I'm Ulrika. Razalux. Ulrika and Razalux. Nah, I mean, I'll just call you Raz. <laughs> it is easier. I'll remember your names. Now hurry off to your classrooms. Yes, sir. <sighs> we already have a teacher after us. You took off on your own. This is all because of that one guy's fault. I'm pretty sure it was 100% yours. What? It has to be at least 50% his fault. Shut up! Are you guys still messing around? Crap, let's go. Where are you? Wait! 
Yeah, you might want to hurry. Okay. Well, assignment one. Huh. Well, now. Man, this sucks. I can't believe my first day is a complete disaster. I told you we shouldn't have come. You're being really annoying. You shouldn't take it out on me. You guys are too loud. Quiet down. Whoa! It's that teacher! He's our homeroom teacher? Jeez. Everyone is just fooling around. Anyway, my name is Tony. I'll be torturing... <laughs> He's probably right, though. He'll be torturing us with boredom. I mean, teaching you for the next year. So get ready. Uh, sir? Hmm? What? Were you the one who was fighting with the VP at orientation? Oh, yeah. Sorry to have made a scene. <laughs> he and I go way back. Yeah, we studied alchemy at the same time. And he called me a peon of evil. He wasn't wrong. Shit, I'm getting pissed again. Listen, guys. If you get lower grades than play students... I will kick you out of school before you get a chance to graduate. And I'll probably murder you on top of it. Kick us out? Is he serious? Probably. He can't be right. Anyway, my introduction is over. Now, we will begin class. Excuse me. What is it? We're in the middle of class. I'm just guiding one of the new students. I'll make it quick. How do you like it, Miss Lily? I know I shouldn't say this, but isn't this a horrible classroom? Well, I have seen better. Very well. I will talk to my father about more funding. Oh, my, that would be great. Our budget is still very tight, so I'm really glad that a student like you enrolled here. Oh, please. Well, I have class to attend, so... Yes, well then, excuse me. Mr. Tony, make sure you take good care of her. If I can plow some funds from her and close the alchemy class, it would be pure profit. Ms. Sheltered Spoiled Brat, you're just a money tree to me. <laughs> you know, you should do your evil laughs somewhere private. Did she just start laughing? What a weirdo. Well, that's because she's got an evil plan. I'm about showing on the alchemy classes after your father pays to fund them. So it's all gonna go to her in her back pocket. Don't let it bother you. Over here. Yes, thank you. Whoa, was that a maid? I've never seen one before. Me neither. We had an old nanny at our house, though. She looks rich. Okay, then. She is now our enemy. Why? So I'm already included in that hour part. Well, sorry for the interruption. We will now begin. Yep, assignments like last time. Not really. Okay. 
A heal jar, huh? Well, that's pretty basic. So we gotta collect water. Oh, they changed the ingredients. We don't have to get a blue petal anymore. Oh, come on! You messed with the ingredients between games? Why? <sighs> That's just irritating. Oh, great, you're signaling us out? <sighs> I'm first? Uh oh. I suppose we are. <laughs> I suppose she might. <sighs> so let's see if the country bumpkin learned anything. And avoid them if you don't want to. Okay. Okay, is there a save point there? Where we can deal with our next class, your first class, you know, next time. Uh, darn it. I guess not. There's a bed, but I don't see any place to save. That's probably gonna be safe for a workshop. Knowing my luck. Well, further on we go, I guess. Because I got no choice. Okay. I guess we'll go to the hallway first. They'll provide us the ingredients for this first synthesis. We're here, all right. Yes, your workshop. Use this place for a while. Sorry to disappoint you. Just for a while, but we don't have enough for everyone. She'll be joined by more people later. We will, huh? Of course it will. Huh. Might have to confirm the access point. Yes. Oh, it's over in the corner. Gotcha. I guess I really need to confirm that. It's pretty obvious when you see the glowy circle on the floor. Yep, use the pot to synthesize. Is there water here? So I can get infinite supplies of water and then sell it? Gotcha, so other features will come later. Aww, I don't have any ingredients? That's a sad day. What's an alchemist without ingredients? I mean, seriously. A question? Yep, he's gone, all right. I suppose we should. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Ah, oh, who cares? I have this stone, you can use your cursing spells. So she's a witch? What's she doing learning alchemy then? Expanding her repertoire? Oh wait, we forced her here, never mind. Incantations, curses, same thing.
I'd be two if I was counting on her for protection. Yeah, well, I'm not going there yet. For now, I'm gonna save. Next time, we can go to the learning bridge and gather our first ingredients in order to make a heal jar. Till next time, then. See ya.